starting tomorrow. Families in fear for their lives, caught up in deadly violence. The prey or the predator? Which one are you going to be? Tomorrow and Friday, Diane Sawyer reports. Please don't. Don't you? I want to grow up. On World News with Diane Sawyer and Nightline on ABC. Thanks for finding us online, everyone. I'm Paula Ferris. And I'm Rob Nelson with the top stories on this Wednesday, October 17th. A heated showdown last night as President Obama and his Republican challenger Mitt Romney met on stage for a fiery second debate. With just 20 days now until election night, the pressure was on and both candidates came out ready for a fight. They did not hold back. They tackled several issues and sometimes appeared ready to tackle each other, circling on the stage, pointing at one another. Analysts say this was one of the most most contentious debates in recent memory. And there are some rattled nerves in the Northeast this morning after an earthquake hit southern Maine. The 4.0 magnitude quake struck just after 7 o'clock last night, about 20 miles west of Portland, but it could be felt across much of New England. Some residents ran into the streets as the ground shook, but there were no reports of major damage or injuries. It now appears that the government is building a criminal case against the Massachusetts pharmacy at the center of the national meningitis outbreak. Criminal investigators from the FDA were at the facility yesterday and the U.S. attorney confirmed it was part of an ongoing investigation. Officials believe tainted steroids produced at that pharmacy led to at least 16 deaths from meningitis. And a stunning accident in San Francisco Bay to show you an $8 million sailboat flipping over on a training run for the America's Cup. The 72 foot catamaran broke apart and then most of the pieces were carried past the Golden Gate Bridge and out to sea. Now none of the 11 members crew members were hurt. The boat was one of two being tested for the America's Cup race next year. And by all accounts, it did not pass the test. Yeah, it did not do too well on the, on the Masters test. Masters of the obvious. <laughs> I'm Paula Ferris. <laughs> and I'm Rob Nelson. Get your news anytime at ABCnews.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great Wednesday. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.